So here is the constructor way of creating the bicycle object and here is the normal function which initializes a bicycle object and returns it. Uh, I told you that a, a function that was meant to be called as a constructor should be called as a constructor using the new keyword and a function that is not meant to be called as a constructor should just be called as a simple function without the new keyword. So in this tutorial, we'll understand what happens if you switch the two. What if I call this function using the new keyword and I call this function without using the new keyword? I think you can guess what's going to happen, but let's test our hypothesis. So let's start with the first one. I have this create bicycle call with the parameters and the create bicycle function is a simple regular function which creates an object and then explicitly returns it. So we don't need a new keyword here because this this uh, function is doing everything on its own. So all I need to do is call that function without any extra special treatment, pass in the arguments and it does the work and initializes the object for you. But now the question that I have is what happens if I use the new keyword here? Let me clear this out. We don't need bicycle too. So what happens if I say new create bicycle? Can you guess what's gonna happen? You remember I told you that when there is this new keyword added in front of a function execution uh, function call, JavaScript inserts a couple of lines of code, one to the beginning and one to the end. So you can think of it as JavaScript adding uh, var this equals an empty object and at the end it has a return this. But now knowing that there are these two lines added over here, how do you think it affects what gets returned over here to bicycle one? Well, the first line of code is pretty much like there is a this uh, variable which contains an empty object, but we are not really using the this uh, over here. You see, create bicycle does not use a this. So even if you were to use the new keyword, the first part of it, the first line that it injects is more or less wasted. The JavaScript says, hey, there's a new keyword, so it has to create this variable called this and initialize it to an empty object. JavaScript does it, but we are not doing anything with it. So it's more or less wasted. But, uh, you know, it executes your line of code over here. And then here at line 11, it sees return new bicycle. So it returns the object that you initialize, not the this. Okay, it returns the object that you initialize. And the line that it adds at the end is again wasted because at line 11, you already return. So line 12 is essentially a no op. Nothing happens over here. So what gets returned over here is the new bicycle that you've already, uh, you know, you've initialized and you already populated. So this is essentially of no use when you're doing a new over here. So it still works. When you say new create bicycle, it's basically the new bicycle that you've created over here, which gets returned and assigned to bicycle one. All the extra stuff that JavaScript does, you know, these two lines, thanks to the new, is essentially useless, all right? So this is something that you would not want to do because you're basically having JavaScript interpreter do some extra stuff thanks to this new keyword, but you're not using that extra stuff. So you wouldn't typically want to call a regular function with the new keyword, but even if you do, it is fine, it'll still work. All right, so let's execute this, reload and run. And if I open my console and try to get bicycle one, you see, I still get this object with the properties that I'm initializing over here. Only thing is with the new keyword, we are asking the JavaScript interpreter to do extra stuff that we are essentially ignoring. So not the end of the world, right? It's not ideal. You're having JavaScript do all that effort to create a new object and then try to return it, but it's all in vain. So don't do that. Um, but it's even if you were to do it, it's going to work fine. Now let's look at the other way. Let's look at trying to call a function that was meant to be called as a constructor, but let's call it as a regular function without using the new keyword, right? I'm gonna remove the new keyword over here. So I'm calling this constructor function as a regular function. Now what's gonna happen? What's gonna be the value of bicycle three? Will it still be the object? Well, let's see. Since I'm calling this function without the new keyword, the JavaScript inter interpreter does execute this as a regular function. It doesn't add these two lines of code. Remember this? This was thanks to the new keyword. But now that I'm removing the new keyword, the JavaScript interpreter is just going to execute the code that you have written. All right. 
and let's see what the code you've written does. It makes a call over here to bicycle and it has these three arguments. And now what does it do? The first line says this dot cadence equals cadence. Now what is the value of this? Since it has not initialized this to anything, right? Like it does with the constructor. This actually refers to what this was referring to before. And that in this case happens to be a global object. And we are wondering, how do you know that this here is a global object? Well, I'm going to talk about that in the next couple of videos. But the idea is at this point of time, you're not changing the value of this. So the, the, the reference this is basically whatever it was at that point of time. So at this point of time, it happens to be the global object, right? We'll cover why later, but you're going to have to trust me on this at this point. So this happens to be a global object. So when you do this dot cadence equals cadence, it's creating a property called cadence on the global object. This dot speed equals speed creates a property speed. And this creates a property gear on the global object and it sets these three values on the global object. And now what is getting returned? There's no return value here. There was formerly a return value thanks to the new operator because JavaScript interpreter added that return value, a return this. But since you're not using the new keyword here, there is no return. So when you execute a function that does not have an explicit return in JavaScript and you get hold of the return value and assign it to a variable, what would that variable contain? It would actually contain undefined because that's the behavior of JavaScript functions. If you don't return anything explicitly, the function by default returns the value undefined. So in this case, bicycle three is going to contain undefined because you've removed the new keyword over here, which caused the interpreter to do two important things that were necessary for this function to work. All right, so let's run this and I'm gonna prove by accessing bicycle three. And you can see that it's undefined because A, there is no new object being created and B, whatever you're doing over here is somewhere else and it's not returning anything. So bicycle three just becomes undefined. So again, the thing to learn from what we've seen here is it's not a good idea to mix these things up. You create a function with a specific usage mode in mind. You either create it as like a factory function where you call a function normally, or you create it as a constructor function, in which case the, the user has to call it using the new keyword. So that's actually the reason why you have this convention. It becomes obvious how to call a function. And you always make sure you use the right mode to call the right function.